Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I hadn't been on here in a little while, but um, I've had a lot going on this past weekend. I actually took down my Christmas decorations, and that took me all day Saturday and all day Sunday. In addition to that, I put up my um, winter decorations and my Valentine's decorations. I decided this year I was just going to go ahead and put them up because um, I just didn't want to have to go back out to the barn and get anything else. But also, Madeline had a birthday yesterday, and so I am planning a party for her this weekend. And, um, you know, like I said, I've just been super busy, but I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And I am going to be putting out a um, beef stew recipe for this weekend because I don't know um, how the weather's going to be where you are, but here it's actually going to start getting colder which is nice because the last couple of days we've had like 65 degree or 60 to 65 degree weather and it's just too strange. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do the Valentine's Day stuff first. It's not a whole lot. Um, I do have a few more things that I do wanna go back and purchase. I just can't right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that first and then I'll follow up with the other stuff. Um, first thing I picked up was this pretty little uh, pen. And I had seen this over the last couple of weeks. But, uh, and I did have the intention of going back and buying a bunch of these and giving them to people to use at work, but I don't know. They may, not, may or may not get into it, but I really like the pink. They had pink, purple, and red. And so I did pick me up a pink one. I'm not really sure what color this writes. Sometimes these pens write in blue, sometimes black. Let me see if I can. Okay, it looks like it may write in blue. Okay, I hope that's the wind blowing because the catch on our back screen um, needs to be adjusted and if it doesn't latch all the way and the wind blows, it will throw that door open and my dog is nuts, so I apologize for that. All right, so anyway, I do think that if this does write in blue, which I do like um, better than the black, and um, believe it or not, even though these little pens are like cheap pens, I really love the way they write. Every time I buy a decorative pen like this, whether it be the unicorn, the little fuzzy balls, whatever it is, these write really good. So I'm excited to use that. I wanted to use it today, but I was like, no, I'm going to do my haul first. Um, these, I don't know if you really want to classify these as Valentine's Day because they were in the party section, but these are the pink um, chevron straws, and I hauled the blue ones last time for winter and decided I would go ahead and do the pink for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to mix those up, put those in my little straw dispenser. I picked up these little um, two pack of Valentine or little heart pink baskets. They did have some red ones as well. And they're pretty good size. You get a cute little handle on them. And like I said, they are two in a pack. And they're kind of like um, see-through in a way. You can see my finger through it. So anyway, these would be really cute if you want to make a little uh, Valentine's Day gift basket for somebody. So I may end up doing something like that. Okay, I did pick up some of these little heart picks, and I do plan to go back and buy more because you could do so many DIYs and so many crafts with these things. You could put these on wreaths, you could hot glue them on stuff. Um, this is the smaller hearts. They did have another pack that had, um, they were a little bit bigger, and of course you got less in the, in the pack, but um, they had red and then they had these pink, and they have, you know, a variety of different ones. But I did go ahead and get these for now, and I will be back buying some more, so stay tuned for that. And they're just little styrofoam, um, you know, parts. I picked up one of these little mailboxes. Now, they have several of these mailboxes, and they also have a lot of the little cardboard uh, mailboxes. This one is 10. So, um, and it's got like a little plastic flag that goes up on here. I just like this one. I like the red and the white and um, I am going to be using that for decorations. When my girls were um, little I did get some two of these and I put them on the wall on the outside of their bedroom door and every once in a while I wasn't diligent with it like I should have been but we would I would put like little candies or little notes and stuff in it and whenever there was something in it I pulled up the little flag and that way when they come out of their room they knew there was something in there and it could just be a little you know piece of candy or a little note tell them how much you care about them and I left that up all year so you know they could give each other little notes or whatever and while I'm running my mouth I ain't really showing you up close what this looks like but it's got little hearts right here and it just looks like like uh, maybe like a little doily like a little lace doily 
and that's the way it looks on the side. It's got the little white hearts around the top. So it's just, you know, really cute. And then the inside is just the gold. Okay, next thing that I picked up was these little notepads. Uh, it says memo book with pen. Thought these were really cute. And I don't know if my girls are gonna want these or not, but I did pick them up to put with their Valentine stuff and when I do the little Valentine's Day scavenger hunt with them. And so my, uh, Caitlin was with me and she said she liked this one and I thought that Madeline would probably like this one. And like I said, it does come with a little pen. It's got the little um, thing on the side to hold that with. I'm just gonna open one up because I can um, put this back in the little pack if I want to. So anyway, this is, it's really thin. I mean, it's not got a whole lot of paper, but it's, you know, it's cute for Valentine's Day. It's ruled, you know, so anyway, that's what that looks like. And then this one's got the little lips, you know, on the back of that to match this one. Then I picked up some of these little stickers. Um, this is scented stickers, and I just thought they were really cute. I really like the little um, sweet treats they have on them. And then you can also use these to decorate cards. My mother, whenever she gives anybody a card, she puts stickers all over the insides of them. And then the last um, thing that I bought for, I guess, Valentine's Day related are these little blank note cards. This one is a little puppy dog. There's eight of those. And then this one is a little teddy bear holding some flowers. And I did pick this up because um, when, you know, I go to work on Valentine's Day, I'm going to give everybody one of these little cards on their desk. And I'll just write some, you know, just Happy Valentine's Day on the inside of these. Nothing major. But everybody will get one from me, and then I'll put a little something with it. Not sure what yet. Like I said, I was going to do the pins, but I may end up doing something else. I don't know. But these little blank cards are just a very inexpensive, uh, cute way to let everybody know that you wish them a happy Valentine's Day. And I really, really love this one. I just think that is so super cute. Oh my gosh. You know, that could be a birthday. You could tell somebody happy birthday. You could tell them get well. Um, I mean, this, this picture on the front of this card could cover so many different occasions. Um, I may end up going back and getting some of those, but anyway, I picked those up. Now, moving on to things that are not Valentine's Day related. I got this trash can put into the bedroom beside the bed or near the nightstand. I do wish that they would have had these in different colors, maybe more neutral tones or something like that, but all of the trash cans were bright colors. But this is a nice size, and so anyway i picked that up not sure how long i'll keep it if they do come out with neutral colors i definitely will replace it because i'm just not really big on this blue trash can in my room um while i'm talking about baskets they did have these neutral colors um, out of these type baskets the little trays the little um uh, square ones all different assorted sizes now some of them have lids some of them don't this one does I picked this up because we need something to put our remote controls in. Right now I have it in like this little wooden block thing right here. But as you see, because of the way the bottom is, there's a sticker on there. Um, and when you pick it up, the remote controls, if they're thin enough, will go through the bottom. And it's just, I don't know, it's just cumbersome. So I thought that it would be nice to have something to put them in. And then that way I can slide, we could put the remote controls in the basket, put the lid on it, and we could slide it underneath um, the end table or you know, beside the chair or whatever. Our carpet is this color, so it kind of blends in. Um, and I did want something kind of a neutral tone, so I picked that up. I absolutely love these baskets. Something else this size basket will be good for is if you have like drop cords and things like that, um, that you can wrap, a, wrap up your drop cords or your little outlet things and put them in this basket and then stick them underneath your counter or something like that. So anyway, I did get, well, and one good thing too is like if you wanted to um, put like a charging station or something in here, you could and you could thread your um, cords out through this to plug it in. And it was just an idea of something you could do with that. Um, I picked up four of these votive candles and I do need more of these um, but when I went to Walmart and priced them you can get more um, in a pack but you're still gonna pay the same amount for it. So if I would have gotten four of these um, I still would have you know it would have been four dollars at um, Walmart to get 16 of these candles and so I just picked these up while I was there so that I could put those in my candle holders and stuff. Um, I am planning Madeline's birthday party. And one of the things that I do is um, if I'm doing any kind of a theme, I've mentioned this before, uh, particularly when I did the video on Caitlin's birthday party. 
but whatever her theme is is what I do the main plate in that people are going to be eating off of and then everything else I just pick some colors in the plate um, and I you know do the napkins like I do use solid colors and I use like solid color napkins uh, dessert plates tablecloths streamers things like that it just cuts down on um, you know, having to spend so much because when you're doing these themed birthday parties if you go and buy everything that's got these characters and stuff on them you're going to end up spending over a hundred dollars so anyway madeline wanted a moana party and i know she's 15 but you know she just really likes moana she thought it would be cute and so that's what i had decided to do for her i did go tonight to party city and buy the moana plates and um so i needed to find something to match with that so what i decided to do was i got the dessert plates in the this pretty color uh blue and i'm kind of mixing my blues up because you know the ocean has different shades of blue and stuff in it and the plates also have these different shades of blue in it but the dessert plates are going to be this and then the napkins are going to be kind of like this um this looks like pool water blue to me so um, you get 20 of these in a pack for a dollar. I got two packs of them. This one you get 24 plates for a dollar. When I was at Party City, a pack of these plates were three dollars. So I mean, if <laughs> you save two dollars, you get the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree doesn't have as big of a variety of colors. So if you are looking for something specific, um, you know, like a teal, they didn't have teal and things like that. They just have more of your primary colors or your pastel colors. But you know, you could probably make it work depending on what you've got. So I did get that. And I should have brought the Moana plates in here so you could see those uh, to see what I'm talking about. And I'll get up in a minute and get that so that I can show that to you. And then um, I always put up streamers because I think when you put streamers up over a table, it just makes everything seem more festive um, versus just decorating a table. So I did pick up two packs of streamers. I wasn't sure what colors I already had at home. I do try and save the ones I don't use. So anyway, I got the orange and I got the white and I am going to twist those and I'm going to do four, uh, four lines of them running to my um, light over my table. And um, in addition to that, I think these are real pretty, um, you know, accent to add to over your table is these um, little pom-poms. And so I got the um, dark blue and then I got the, this is more of a teal color. It's a little bit darker than the, you know, the napkins. But like I said, the different shades look fine. And I felt like these, you get two in a pack. So I'm gonna be hanging up four of them. And I am going to, when I hang them, I'm gonna have them hanging at different lengths over the table um, in between the streamers that are hanging up. And so maybe it'll kind of give it like an ocean type feel, I don't know. But anyway, so that is what I'm going to do with these. And the last item that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I did get me another candlestick because you just can't ever have too many of these. If you go on um, Pinterest or YouTube or whatever and put in Dollar Tree candlestick, you will be surprised all of the DIYs and stuff that you can do with these things. So I do have something in mind that I am going to do with this. Um, so stay tuned for that. I uh, might be recording that this weekend so that I can get that out for you next week. Depends on how much um, I've got to do for this party. But um, anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching and spending your time with me um, today. And I hope you are all having a great week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I did go in the other room and get my plates so that I could show you. But this is the Moana plates that I picked up to use at Madeline's birthday party. And just to show you kind of how I picked the colors out of here um, for my decorations. The teal is a perfect match of what's behind her. And then the dark blue. She does have a little bit of dark blue in her necklace. But these are the little pom-poms that are going to be hanging up. Then the light um, napkins. And then as far as the streamers, I thought the gold would be really pretty. And I've got that to be mixed in with the white. But the gold, um, you know, brings out where the sunshine is. And um, maybe a little bit on her flowers right here. So anyway, I did want to show you that. Also, the, what I was, I've got these at Party City were eight plates for $2.79 or something like that. So they do add up. I did have to buy three of these. And in addition to... Um, having your theme on your plates i also um, whatever dessert whether it be cake or cupcakes or whatever i also try and incorporate the theme the main theme or the print um you know on that as well because i feel like when it comes to birthday parties your cake and the plates you eat off of is the main uh, items everything else can just you know be solid colors